Good afternoon everybody, welcome to central Portugal where it's 5 o'clock and 38 degrees. Time to do some construction. <laughs> yeah, we are all capable of a lot more than we think. Let's see how long it takes before I fall down. <laughs> I did manage to put up uh, one uh, shade tarp. Yeah, just one. The girls are also having a hard time with the heat. Zoe is mostly inside. Akira is still trying to uh, protect the land from uh, small animals. So, why I don't buy a cement mixer? Yeah, so that was my favorite uh, Shroud? <laughs> I still can't remember <laughs> But it's fucked <laughs> No, but that's not the only reason I uh, don't buy a cement mixer But it is one of them I am getting... Akira <laughs> Akira is drinking the water you, you, you have a bowl with water, sweetie yeah, I am learning though, but um, still mess up sometimes. Another example of this is the current cement mixer. So besides talking about a cement mixer, what are we gonna do today? Uh, we're gonna continue here to fill this up, like we did here. What looks very lovely. Uh, we're gonna try to do the same here. And then also see that we maybe fill up some of these holes already here. Would be lovely if I can get this all done in this video, including the correct corner. But yeah, I am the king of wishful thinking, so let's see how far we get. <laughs> well, we're going into the night shift today, so we might have some time. Well, maybe we can still continue some tomorrow. Let's see. I do need to learn how to make these iced coffees. 38 degrees, the normal coffee is a little bit uh, too hot. I still drink them though. This one's empty.
So if I had a cement mixer, like one of the big ones, uh, Akira, calmer. Now, say, say, now. So this mix that I now made, it takes me about a, an hour to uh, before I need a new mix because I need to uh, fiddle and uh, see that I get them in straight because I'm not a professional. So at this point, if I had uh, one of the big cement mixers, I either need to clean it or I need to keep it running because otherwise uh, it's going to end up uh, looking like this cement mixer. And that wouldn't be good for that new cement mixer that I buy. So we made a new mix. So if we had a big cement mixer, we need to uh, either clean it again or leave it running for another hour. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get Number three, you guessed it already. Do we clean the cement mixer or do we let it run? Do we clean it now for the third time or it's been running for, I guess already two and a half hours.
So you guessed it already again. <laughs> if I had a cement mixer, <laughs> uh, I either now have to clean it. I had to clean it before because I took a little uh, dinner, a little pre-dinner. Uh, so yeah, we need to clean it because it couldn't stay on for like another hour. So uh, now is the choice, do we uh, clean it again or uh, leave it on for now? I'm going pretty fast actually, so maybe we should leave it on. Really funny at the moment. No fires in the area, so it's not smoke. It's cooling down very quickly though. <laughs> you guessed it already? No, because it's the last bucket for today, so we have to clean the cement mixer. So either it's been running for uh, five hours, or it's been running for three hours and we cleaned it two times. Yeah, I'm gonna get some more uh, tijolos in and leave the rest for tomorrow. Good night. So apparently it's uh, Sahara dust that's uh, covering our sun. So it uh, was supposed to be uh, 39, it said this morning. <coughs> but for now we're not coming any further than 28. So that's pretty good. Seems to be getting brighter again though. And that is where we left off yesterday, at a quarter to 11. So I need to cut two to fill that hole. And I was using the small bricks there. Because the white ones cannot, uh, they end up against the beam. 
Um, but apparently I made a miscalculation because I need the small one still for here. I thought we had cut enough, but uh, I need a calculator. Not like the machine, like a person who calculates for me. <laughs> uh, so I think I'm gonna make some bigger ones to size to fit there. So that I can use the small ones that we still have to fill this. Sounds like planet here, right? Yeah, the air is very like, in Holland we would say pressuring. Drukkend weer. Like when there's a lot of like moist in the air and it's like, I don't know, it feels like pressure on your chest. Very calm day though for the rest. New day, new chances. Do we clean our cement mixer or do we let it running? In this case, uh, I mixed up a little more. So it takes me a little more time to uh, process it. I thought maybe that helps in uh, how many times we have to clean our big cement mixer. So we'll clean it this time. <laughs> One clean. Good that we cleaned our cement mixer the last time because I decided to have lunch. Well, otherwise, it would have been on now for uh, two and a half hours. <laughs> it's funny this imagining stuff, right? Uh, it's turning out to be still freaking hot, especially with this pressure. It makes me sweat a lot. 
Uh, so are we gonna leave it on? So I made a little bit extra uh, mix again. So let's clean the cement mixer instead of leaving it on. It's the second time we clean it today. That went uh, pretty fast for this portion, so maybe we should have let the cement mixer running. You see why it makes no sense for me to have a cement mixer. <laughs> you can say a cement mixer makes bigger portions, but at the rate that I'm like processing this stuff, even with this small bucket already, when I come to the end, it's drying out. So no, that's not an option. Let's mix one more bucket by hand without a cement mixer. Uh, did we clean it last time or did we leave it running? I don't remember. There's nothing going on. The girls are a little bit caught by the heat, I think. Moist in the air. <laughs> so this time uh, we're going to clean it because this is the last bucket I'm going to use. Uh, still some more holes to go though. But with all this uh, cleaning of the cement mixer, it takes a lot of time.
So yeah, that's how I uh, clean my cement mixer now. Very easy. If it goes wrong with one of these big cement mixers, I wonder how you're gonna clean the inside. Not so easy, I think. There's a big chance that that would happen sometime. So yeah, three more to go. I'll do that in the next video together with the cracky corner. You're lazy over there. Hot as we be. Oi. Hot, hot, hot. Ooh, and dusty. <laughs> Zementoey. Hi, sweetie. Yeah, I'm also dirty. Maybe we all should take a shower. <laughs> so yeah, about uh, me not buying a cement mixer. Eventually, probably, I will buy a cement mixer. Wait, let's put you down here. This is how I would be viewing outside if my house is finished. <coughs> so eventually, I'll probably buy a cement mixer, but like with these kind of jobs, when it takes me a lot of time to process the cement, I don't really see the point of having a cement mixer. And then you say, yeah, Jasper, but what about the, um, the wall you build on the other land at the beginning of this season? And I would say, we are with four people and we all like to get a little bit of exercise. So the same as with the mini, when we did the floor, Duarte and Renato were here and we decided just to mix it by hand because it's a nice exercise. It was only 14 buckets. So that was easily doable for three people. Everybody's nice and busy. So yeah, at those moments, I really don't see the point in buying a cement mixer. But like I said, there probably comes a point when we are gonna buy a cement mixer. Either when we get professional, faster. <laughs> so when we like have to do like a real big floor or when we are cementing in bricks with two people at the same time, for instance. Now I do have already some experience with cement mixers. Well, one actually. Uh, at the beginning of, um, of the whole project, season one, Stefano and me, we, uh, mainly Stefano, <laughs> cemented up um, this row of tijolos here. And back then we uh, borrowed the cement mixer from Alex, from Quinta Fonte de Pipa. And also because Stefano was explaining me stuff and it, yeah, we needed to clean the thing every time in between. And it just seemed like a hassle to me. And for us, it was back then also even faster to just mix one bucket up by hand. Instead of hooking the thing up, getting it running, getting the cement out, cleaning it out, shutting it off. So yeah, I have some experience with cement mixers and that's mainly why I decided I don't need one yet. It's also nice to get some more physical exercise. I mean, I like a little bit of manual labor. I don't care if I work my body and not only from shoveling cement in a cement mixer. If you want somebody to see you as a cement mixer, go check out Alex's channel on Quinta Fonte de Pipa. He has one, so the likelihood that he's gonna use it is a lot higher. He is gonna work on the milking parlor soon. I don't know if he still needs cement for that though, but it's an interesting project. Check it out. I'll put the links to that channel uh, in the description. Oh yeah, Molly from Quinta Fonte de Pipa showed me how to make these uh, wonderful iced coffees. They're still not as good as hers, but I'm getting there. Garidas de Luz iced coffee. I'm still working on the recipe. So there will probably come a time when you see a video with I bought a cement mixer but I don't think it's anywhere in the direct future. It turned out to be pretty hot eventually today. I think it turned uh, 37 eventually. So now time for a shower and I still need to edit the video for you guys. See you all in the next one. <laughs> Bye.